Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a puzzle. It says that uh, in a UPSC coaching institute, there are three batches, batch one, two, and three. And there are five teachers that teach different subjects in the institute. The first table gives the subjects and the teachers who can teach them. So we can see that each subject can be taught by two teachers. Okay. In each of the three batches, all the five subjects were taught by different teacher. So each of these batch, we will have all five subjects taught by different teachers. Okay. No teacher took a class in more than one batch at a time. So let us say if Nalin is taking class in batch three at 10 to 11 a.m., he cannot take class in batch one or batch two. Similarly, Lalit cannot be present in batch two or Jatin cannot be present in batch two at 11 to 12 p.m. Right. And every subject is taught by two teachers. So if we know that one teacher is, let us say, if we know uh, that Lalit is teaching economics, so Mani cannot teach economics. Right. So if we know uh, one subject and teacher, we can find for rest of the subjects. Okay. So this is the table given to us, which is partially filled. We have to find that who are the people uh, uh, and the subject they are teaching. Okay, so let us denote these people's name by J, K, L, M, N. Okay, let us start with batch 3 because in batch 3 we have much of information already given. So we already know J and N in this case. So we have to fill K, L and M. Okay, now uh, K cannot come here. M cannot come here. And in polity, although teacher is not defined, so polity is taken by K or L, right? Polity is taken by K or L. So M cannot come here. See, money cannot teach here because money is teaching in batch one. Money cannot teach here because money does not teach polity. So that means money will teach in this case, it will teach economics. Okay. Now it becomes very easy for us to solve. Now see this, if we have found money teaches economics, so who will teach Lalit with not teach economics? Lalit teaches the second subject that is polity. So this is Lalit. And then we can say that this will be uh, Karan. Okay. Now Lalit teaches polity, Karan also teaches polity. So if Lalit is teaching polity, Lalit, Karan will not teach polity, Karan will teach history. So this will be history. Okay, the second teacher who teaches history, Jatin. So Jatin will not teach history, Jatin will teach English. And then Nalin, Nalin is not teaching English, Nalin will teach mathematics. Okay, so that's, this is how we have filled for batch 3. Okay, now we will come to batch 2. So uh, we have to fill uh, these many people over here. Now, if we see that Lalit is present here, Lalit is present here. So, Lalit cannot teach in 11 to 12. Lalit cannot teach in 3 to 4. Okay. Now, Lalit teaches either polity or he teaches economics. Lalit does not teach English also. Okay. So, Lalit will teach economics here. Okay. Now, Lalit will teach economics. Now, we have to fill three more people. Okay, we have to fill three more people. Lalit and Karan are filled. We have to fill J, M, and N. Okay, Lalit is teaching economics. That means money will not teach economics. Money will teach mathematics. Okay, money will teach mathematics. Uh, and if money is teaching mathematics, then Nalin will need not teach mathematics. Nalin will teach English. So this will be Nalin. Okay. So we filled Nalin also. This is also done. We are left with Mani and Jatin. So Nalin is teaching English. So Jatin will teach history. Okay. Because Jatin cannot teach English. So Jatin will teach history. Now Jatin is already teaching in this batch at 11 to 12. So Jatin will teach at 3 to 4. He will teach history. Okay, and this will be money. Okay, and money will teach mathematics because economics is taught by Lalit. So, this is mathematics. 
and one subject is left that is polity so karan will teach polity okay so this is how we figure out that who will teach who okay now in this batch we know that 3 uh, to 4 english is being taught english is taught by nalin or jatin jatin is uh, teaching in this batch so this will be nalin okay now if nalin teaches english that means jatin will teach history okay so uh, i'll just mark this is english is by nalin so jatin will teach history okay if jatin is teaching history then karan will teach polity okay if karan is teaching polity then lalit will teach economics if lalit is teaching economics mani will teach mathematics because nalin is teaching english so uh, nalin cannot teach mathematics so we can fill the subject this way like math mani is given as mathematics so this will be mathematics lalit is teaching economics so this is economics right we left with two people that is uh, jatin and karan okay now uh, we see that karan is teaching here so karan will teach here and jatin will teach here now karan will teach polity here because he will teach polity in this batch and jatin will teach uh, history in this batch so this is how we will complete the entire table of all the subjects uh, and uh, the teacher who is teaching that subject okay so the first question is which subject is taught between 11 and 12 in batch 2 so in batch 2 11 and 12 am the subject is mathematics in how many batches does nalin teach english so in batch 1 he is teaching english in batch 2 he is teaching english and batch 3 is not teaching english so in two batches he he teaches english how many subjects are taught simultaneously in two batches okay so let us see if there are any subject or not polity uh, economics math no, none of them right uh, in 11 to 12 also none of the subjects 12 to 1 none of the subjects uh 2 to 3 none of the subjects 3 to 4 also none of the subjects so none of the subjects is taught simultaneously in two batches okay which teacher teaches in three consecutive slots so let us find if there is any teacher who teaches in consecutive slots k in not in this slot l L L uh, L L is present in two slots, not three consecutive slots. Uh, then we have J. Okay, J J and J is also. So let us uh, uh, go uh, person by person, right? J is teaching in this. J is teaching in this, and uh, J is teaching third time here. So J is not not the person. okay k is teaching in first first r he is teaching in uh, uh in first slot and then he is teaching in third and fourth right so k is also not there l is teaching in first slot second slot and then last slot so l is also not there m m is teaching in second slot third slot and fourth slot so three consecutive slots he is teaching okay and n uh, this slot this slot and first slot so m is teaching in three consecutive slots so that is mani we see that mani is teaching in this slot also okay in different batch and this and this so mani is the only teacher who is teaching in three consecutive slots so that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions